uh, the Botanical Remastered uh, Let's Play, uh, where we just failed in our time travels, and we need a few different items and stuff, I suppose. It can't do anything without a new diamond. Mm, fair enough. Let's try walking the other way then. Maybe I put them upstairs. That's got to be it. Upstairs. Honestly, it's been a couple of days. I don't even remember precisely what he would have put upstairs in that case. Warning! Output from this device is highly toxic and may cause tyrannical delusions if ingested. <laughs> True enough. I think it's the switch for the sludge matic machine. Yep. Uh, what about this bulletin board? To do. It's Dr. Fred's design for a super battery. It's capable of storing up to one gigavolt with a charging time of only 0.01 seconds. Wow! Can we pick that up? I've got the plans! Quick, we have to flash them to Hoagie! How did you get over there? <laughs> My ingenious super battery design, please. <laughs> You really flush them? Yes! Down the toilet? No! Through time! Using the highly sophisticated time flux hydraulic vortex chamber I've installed in each chronogen, <laughs> you can flush small inanimate objects to each other through time! Flush small inanimate objects to each other through time! Hello? <laughs> Dr. Fred, can you hear me? Rat. Did you hear something? <laughs> no. Let's see if what's his name catches on. Oh great! I'm stuck in colonial times. Tentacles are taking over the world, and now the toilet's backing up. <laughs> okay. Come over here. It's your old pal, Doctor Fred. Dr. Fred, how'd you get in there? I want you to pick up those plans you see in the chronogen, Hoagie. Bring them to Red Edison. He's my great, 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 great grandfather. He'll know what to do. You need the plans to make a super battery so you can plug in your chronogen. Okay, if you say so, Bernard. Good boy. Does he have any experience with electronics? Um, well, I once saw him take 3,000 volts directly through his head without batting an eye. Didn't he pass out? Well, he was already passed out when it happened. <laughs> Time for me to save the world, I guess. <laughs> so as soon as Hoagie gets that battery working, we're set. I'm afraid not. We still need a diamond for the main unit. And your friend in the future needs power too, if she's still alive. Alive? Get me out of here! I like trees and everything, but this one has got to go. <laughs> okay, interesting. Hey, Dr. Fred! Really chafed hands doing that. You're going to get really chafed hands doing that. Sorry, coffee jitters. Maybe you should switch to decaf. No, then I'd fall asleep and the dreams would come. Uh. How's the mad scientist biz? Not too lucrative lately. We're living mostly on the income from renting out our mansion. That and Edna's tips from her exotic dancing. <laughs> we have to do something. 
What do you suggest, college boy? No diamond for the central unit, no power for the chronogons! A mutant monster of my own creation, roaming the countryside, taking over the world! It's a dark day for mad science! <laughs> Why can't we just... Yeah. Why can't we just fix the time machine? Needs a whole new diamond! Now where am I going to get the money? <laughs> How much could it possibly cost? Two million dollars! Wow. So, you've got money, don't you? Well, I didn't get all the money I expected from that TV show about us. We had to rent out our mansion as a hotel just to make ends meet. Uh, if only I had signed that contract in time. What contract? What contract? Well, after that incident when I was possessed by a meteor from outer space, somebody decided to make a show about us, but they didn't pay us anything. All we got was a cut of the video game. Wow, that thing made millions. Yes, I forgot to sign the royalty contract in time, though. I still have it in my safe upstairs. Well, well done. Let's go get the contract out of the safe and sign it. I forgot the combination. But that's... that's so stupid, Dr. Fred. I know. It gives my enormous brain nightmares. Every night I dream about opening the safe, but I find something horrible inside and slam it shut. Over and over again, night after night. Is that why you drink so much coffee? I haven't slept in two years. Oh dear. Well done. Well, gotta go save the world. Good luck. Thank you. away from that <laughs> okay it looks like a generator driven by a treadmill okay Darn cold. Can we open it? So what's inside? It's pretty darn cold. Well, I wanted to look inside. Uh, anything in there? I don't think I can pick that up. <laughs> it's pretty darn cold. Honeymoon Suite. Can we open it? What the? Now there's a heavy sleeper. <laughs> True indeed. Hi there. This beautiful 4,000 carat diamond can be yours today for the special rock bottom introductory price of $2 million. The number to call is 1-800-STAR-WARS. Don't miss this amazing once-in-a-lifetime opportunity.
Up too late? Try a fickle finger's fate. Stick in a dime and you'll have a good time. Uh, well... I can almost get it now, but Lardo is lying on the sleeve. Okay. Well, let's continue walking around and looking around. I wonder if that would have been what we technically needed. Mmm, that buzzing fluorescent light makes the beef jerky look especially attractive. Beef jerky? Close that. <laughs> Room one oh one. It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my design, so I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. How appropriate. I can't even do this right. Neat! Let's pick up them. Thank you. Dogs playing poker? What? I can't see it very well from here. Fair enough. About this. Neat! <laughs> Can we talk to him? Hi, my name's Bernard. What's yours? Dwayne. Isn't that depressing? <laughs> Maybe I can help cheer you up? Oh, I can hardly wait. <laughs> Maybe some calisthenics would help. Last time I tried calisthenics, I ruptured my spleen. Uh. Uh. Why don't you try whistling a happy tune? I invented a whistle that turned your lips green. Nobody liked it. Uh. Let's discuss philosophy. Okay, here's my philosophy. Life is completely pointless, especially mine. Why do you say that? Why do you say that? I'm a novelty goods designer by trade. I've come up with some fabulous ideas. The exploding lollipop, itching powder gum, and reverse 3D glasses, to name a few. The problem is, no one likes my designs. I send them all over the world and no one responds. I just wish someone would say they liked one just once. Oh, woe is me. I like your design ideas. Well, I didn't mean you. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Well. Private. Can we open this? One? Green. Bernard, what are you doing up here? Well, I couldn't stop Purple, and he's gonna go out and conquer the world, and, and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me, if Dr. Fred doesn't find me first. Uh, does that answer your question? Yeah. Hey! What's up, Bernard? Heh. <laughs> 
How's your new band doing? Green tea and the sushi platter? We're doing great! We've decided to really capitalize on our strongest quality as a band. <laughs> Intoxicating three-part vocal harmony? Volume, man, volume! We have a chance to win a Grimy Award as the loudest new band. We're pulling out all the stops. <laughs> Weren't you looking for a new guitarist a while back? Yes, but we decided to go with a guy who plays power tools instead. We can generate a lot more sound that way. Are you working on an album? Yeah, we're doing a CD called Rap on the Forehead. I've got a few tracks hooked up through the stereo if you want to hear them. <laughs> Have you gotten any airplay? No, we're a little too experimental for most radio stations. But we have a huge following in the club scene. That's great. Yeah. Why the litter box? Have you got a cat? Don't ask. <laughs> How does a tentacle sit in a beanbag chair? Oh, that part's easy. Getting back out of it is hard. <laughs> Fair enough. Can you actually use that bowling ball? No, Purple brought that in here after he grew arms. He got really discouraged, though, because he doesn't have fingers. <laughs> Want to help me save the world? I'm afraid to leave the room. In fact, I don't think I can even move from this spot. Purple scares the daylights out of me. Okay. See you later. Yeah, good luck in saving the world, B-Man. Huh. Uh-oh, this looks like it might work. Neat! Can we pick up that then? It looks too heavy for me to pick up. Okay. Hoagie would really love these. Wow, this is loud. Whew. That was indeed very loud. Uh, let's close that. Uh, let's have a look over here. Really? That's disappointing. Well done. Uh, quickly close that and let's have a look over here. Okay. Neat! Aren't you Weird Ed Edison, the paramilitary nut? Why, yes, I... Hey, do I know you? Yeah, I'm Bernard Benulli. I broke into your house five years ago, kidnapped your hamster, broke into your piggy bank. Mmm, nope, <laughs> doesn't ring a bell, but I can't remember much about that period anyway. My psychotherapist thinks something traumatic happened to me back then that I'm blocking out. <laughs> So you gave up the crazy military commando thing? I'm much better now. I don't have those... those bad thoughts anymore. Now I collect stamps. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice hamster. Does he do tricks? No, he just sits there. 
I used to have a really smart hamster, but something happened to him. Okay. That hamster really should get some exercise. Well, Dad puts him to work down in the basement sometimes. But then he starts sweating, and then he gets wet, and then he gets cold, and then he refuses to work. Your dad or the hamster? Are you making fun of me? No, I... I get upset when people make fun of me. I just meant... Oh, it makes me so mad. I just want to... Relax. I want to relax. I'll be okay if I just focus on my stamps. Okay. What happened to the old hamster? I... I don't remember. When I try, all I can think of is a flash of light and this horrible sound. What was the horrible sound? It was sort of like... Ding! Oh God, I hear it in my dreams till this day. Okay. How are the folks? Well, Dad's in the basement doing an experiment. Mom's in the next room spying on our honeymoon. Ted's in the front yard. Holding up a bowl of lard? Well, it's a bird bath actually, but it rhymes better your way. <laughs> That's quite a nice collection. Can I have it? No. I mean, uh, no. They mean a lot to me. Sometimes I think they're the only friends I've got. Are all your hobbies this fascinating? I don't have any other hobbies. These stamps are my whole life. If anything were ever to happen to them... <laughs> well, hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye. Peace be with you. <laughs> I've got one just like this packed away in the garage. Oh, okay. Jeepers! He's reading the Wall Street Journal. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Uh... Neat. Creepy. Must be an Edison. <laughs> what? Uh, can I talk to her? Excuse me. What is it? I'm rather... Say, aren't you Bernard Bernoulli? <laughs> <laughs> no, my name is... No, my name is Threepwood. Nice try, but I never forget a face. You broke into our mansion a few years ago to save your little friend. What did you come for this time? <laughs> I'm a repairman. I've come to fix your VCR. There's nothing wrong with my VCR. You keep your paws off of it. <laughs> I was just admiring your statue. Thank you. It's been in the Edison family since colonial times. One of Fred's ancestors carved it. Interesting. This is quite an array of gadgetry you have here. Yes, it's the best surveillance system in the state. Is that a Plexus 7000 VCR? 
It sure is. It's got a dual tape speed motor with cobalt casing. Don't touch it. Are those xenophobe crystal matrix monitors? They sure are. They're so clear you can see the fleas on the bedroom walls. Don't touch. Well, enough about your equipment. Let's talk about yours. <laughs> I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Come back any time, you big hunk. <laughs> I see a large pulsating lump with blue stripes on it. Something strange is going on in there. Looks like the hallway. It's Dr. Fred's office. Nothing going on in there. Too interesting. Okay. seem to be anything dangerous in there. Are you sure? Well, let's try. I can see the roof and some Christmas lights. It's not exactly the Ritz. No time for that now. I'm saving the world from Purple Tentacle. Okie dokie. Uh, let's have a quick... I've never gotten over my childhood fear of Uzo. Mm. You looking at me? Are you looking at me? Then who are you looking at, huh? I asked you a question. Okay, clown, that does it. <laughs> I hate that clown. Fair enough. Hey, boy, you missed the party. You and the clown were having a party? No, no, last night. At the Novelty Goods Salesman's Convention. I tell you, we Novelty Goods Salesmen know how to have a good time. <laughs> Has anyone ever told you you look like Don Amici? That's strange. My wife says I look like King Charles the First. Oh, want a cigar? <laughs> 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 
Sure, lay one of those Havanan babies on me. <laughs> Thought I was gonna blow your head off there, didn't you? Well, you were right! You shouldn't smoke. It's a bad habit. You don't say. That cracks me up every time. Oh well. Looks like they all escaped. Missed. I can't get hold of it. Really? I can't get hold of it. Okay. Disgusting. Stay in here. Fair enough. Uh, can we pick up that cigar lighter? Hands off, boy! That's a precision made novelty device! Okie dokie. It's covered with unrecognizable, useless junk and a gun. attached to a rotating shaft which transmits and modifies rotary motion and torque. Can we pick it up? Really? What do we want the crank for? A shaft is normally attached here to supply a rotary motive force which is transmitted up the pole. Well, let's uh, attach that and try using that first. There's no flag on it now because it's evening. Well, may as well grab that for now. It's locked. What about the other window? Not much to see in there. Okay. Wow, a pulley! By using a combination of flexible materials and a wheel, one may gain mechanical advantage by changing the direction of motion and the applied force. <clears throat> I don't think I can pick that up. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's have a quick look in here. As well. Actually, I'd call this more of a freak. <laughs> hmm, brown water. <laughs> I think I could lubricate my car with this stuff. <laughs> okay. The Duke Memorial Brand Microwave. Neat! Okay. Who knows what surprises await inside? Well, look. There's a funnel in there. Let's pick that up then. Not sure how we are going to use that, but 
It looks pretty broken. <laughs> it's a coin-operated clothes dryer. like a tall, mummified Dr. Fred. <laughs> I guess not too many birds bathe in the evening. <laughs> it's closed. It's empty. I'd rather not. Let's try. Okay. Help wanted. Lab assistant. Hard-working drone needed to assist genius with experiments. High school diploma not required. <laughs> Oi. I think you're doing. He looks like he's in a hurry. Hi. Don't sneak up on me like that. <laughs> what are you up to? Uh, I uh, locked my keys in the car. <laughs> if you're locked out, why break into the trunk? I uh, have a spare set of keys in there. <laughs> I don't see your keys in the car. Uh, actually, I lost them somewhere. <laughs> nice crowbar. Thanks. Don't even think about asking to use it. I need it. <laughs> nice crowbar. Yeah, I know. Nice crowbar. Yeah, I know. Nice crowbar. Yeah, I know. Okay. See you later. Yeah. I'd rather not. I'd rather not. It would look nice painted, but I've got better things to do. I'd rather not. I'd rather not. It's really dirty. Exactly how we are going to use any of this, but uh, yeah, next time we will probably uh, go to. Uh, I don't actually remember what the uh, music playing guy is called, but uh, we'll probably go there next. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you tune into the next one. See ya! Thank you.